You know, when you're working with flows, there's a lot of issues around version control that need to be managed. And so this is winter 20s. This just shows, gives you a sense of what we're seeing today. Uh, if I go in and I look for flows, what it'll do is to take me here. And then if I click on uh, this one, what it'll do is to say, let's open that flow. And I'm in version three. It tells me it's an active version. And I, uh, let's see, I don't have an, uh, don't have an, I can't activate it because it's already active. Uh, so if I drag a, a, a something around and I say, okay, I now want to go back because I've made a change. It says, do you want to, uh, the change isn't going to be saved. So I can either leave or cancel. I'm going to say cancel it. What I'm going to do is because I don't have the option to save, I'm going to do a save as. And uh, what I have is the option of either creating a new version or uh, and so I could create a version four, although I, I'm going to show you a version four, which is a little bit confusing, which is where the version control issue comes in. Or I can create, create a new flow. And what I did was to copy the old name. And the, the other important thing to do is when you build these, this is related to household. So I'm going to call this a, a household one flow. Uh, and what that's going to do is to create a sort code when I get a list of flows to know which one I'm looking at. I'm also going to make sure I paste in a description, click save, and it's going to say, oops, that already exists. What do you want to do? And so I can go back here and I can see that I can save and I could make this uh, an H2, although I don't really want to do that, but just want to give you a sense that that was a, a way to get there. So I'm going to click cancel. And then I'm going to go back, and this time I am going to leave. And then what I'm able to do is to uh, is to do a slightly different look. What I can do, rather than clicking here, uh, what I'm going to do is to go down here, and I'm going to say, let me take a look at my details. And so I'm going to look at details and versions. Uh, it brings up details and versions, and what I'm able to see is I'm currently in version three, active version is three, but scrolling down, I find there's a four. And uh, so if I, uh, if I right click here and say, open this as a new link, what it does is display this uh, kind, of, kind of classic legacy version, which does give me a better look at, at my description and kind of what's going on. It gives me a sense of what's active over here and I can activate or deactivate this way. Uh, but, but going back, uh, I could click open here, or I could click open here, uh, the open here, and say, okay, I want, and now I do want to see this version. So I'm gonna open it here. Uh, it's gonna say, uh, this is what you've got for version four. And if I make a move now of something, it says, would you like to save it? So what you're able to do is to make changes in an inactive version. This is just some warnings. Uh, it, you're able to make changes and then save it without having to create a new version. So that's a significant, significant benefit. Uh, and if I click back now, because it's saved, everything is set, and I go back here, what I want to do is to look at this list view and so uh, what I'm able to see now is that uh, if I go back to my flows, then I go back here. This is the, the view I'm seeing. Remember, I had to scroll to the right to get over there before. Uh, it is a, a list view. So what I'm able to do is to create a new list view. What I did was just to build a flows and development just so it fit in this window. And you can see now is where I pick up an HH1, but this is being sorted by last modified date. It also shows me that there's, here's the kind of the other versions. There's things going on here that are worth knowing. Uh, it's active uh, and I still have access to this, which is important for me to be able to get to the details. Uh, but uh, if I wanna go to my details, this is the helpful part is that this is where I can actually do potentially a delete or kind of edit information that I have uh, to understand what's going on. So good luck with your flows and uh, do think about your, your, the naming conventions and your versions and uh, best of luck.